do it over, yeah. it's not gonna be the same. I'm tired. I know she lying. Mom, I'm gonna be on here lying. So now is your right. chance to come out and make it right. Why you not supposed to be out here lying to these people? <laughs> I'm having an allergic reaction, so don't mind my eye. Hey Journeys, where y'all been? It's Unique, and I'm back with another video. So today, I'm doing a video with my mom, and she just wants to come on and grace her presence on my channel, because it's been a minute. <laughs> And um, so I just picked out some random questions from Google and I'm just gonna do like a mini little Q&A with my mom. Now, if there's any questions that y'all have for my mom that we didn't ask in this video, leave those in the comment section down below. And yeah. Okay guys, so we're gonna get right into the questions. And I have this master list. The first question is gonna be, what would you have named me if I was the opposite gender? Jahan Wandale Harris. <laughs> I'm glad I was a girl. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was gonna name the boy if I would have been pregnant with a boy. When I was little, what did you think that I was gonna be when I grew up? A nerd. <laughs> Ma, that is not funny. Why did you think I was gonna be a nerd? Cause you are. <laughs> that is not right. What do you think Tia was gonna be? I don't know. You never thought nothing for your child. Mm -mm. That's wild. Who was the first person that you told that she was pregnant? Tia. She was there though. So if Tia wasn't there, who would you have told first? Oh, well the second person we told was your dad. Mm. Who helps you take care of me the most often? Tia. Dang, she can't be the answer to all the questions. Well, she was the one that was right there. My right hand. Did you ever drop me when I was a baby? Excuse me. <laughs> I didn't Did drop you. Did you ever drop me when I was a baby, Ma? I didn't you. drop you, but somebody dropped me. Now is your chance me. to come out and make it right. Mm -hmm. Somebody dropped you, and I wish I would have known who it was that dropped my baby. How many raggedy babysitters you had? You know I was clumsy. I probably dropped myself. No, you didn't. You was dropped when you was a baby, for real. Mom, why do you think I was dropped when I was a baby? I don't know who dropped you, but somebody dropped you when you was a baby on your head. Because they told me at the hospital when you was in there. What'd they say, Mom? They said that you were dropped on your head as a baby. And your vessels had closed up, but somehow it grew more veins. Yes, because the body is self-healing. Mm. So, what's the worst part about being my mom? The worst part about being her mom? <laughs> I ain't going to say what? I ain't gonna say. Why you can't say? Cause. I told you they got carried to my grave. <laughs> and I said that's why her body hurting cause she be holding all that stuff in. That's a damn shame. Now oh, y'all mom. She needs some oil. Damn ain't a word. Unless you want it to be. All y'all moms out there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if your kids ask you what's the worst thing about being a parent, you can tell them. Like when you when your kids ask you who your favorite child, you tell them who your favorite kid is. I don't have no favorite kid. Yeah, they train y'all to say that. If my kids ask me who their no, favorite, I'm gonna be like, it's kids. such and such, and you know it's such and such. I love both of my daughters. Just cause you loved both of them, that don't mean that one of them that's your favorite. And one of my favorite. And that's I, why y'all almost have, 15 years apart. If I have multiple kids and one of them my favorite and they ask me that question, I'm gonna tell them. Have them um, years apart where you can spoil one and then you spoil the other They one both one gonna one be one. spoiled at the same time, mommy. Don't have them at no same time. I am because I need them to get out the way at the same time. <laughs> that did it. Don't be like my mama. What was I most afraid of when I was a kid? What was you most afraid of when you was a kid? I got an idea of something. But what mm. you think? I don't know. I guess um, me and your dad not being together. That was more so of a trauma. I was scared of lizards. <laughs> you were scared of lizards? Oh my gosh. My granny, Bercy, uh -huh. she live in Florida and on her porch is like lizards. And they be like, <laughs> and they just be going. That is the, That was my scariest thing. Are you lizards. scared of them now when you go there? 
No, I ain't scared of them now because I see animals and stuff differently. But uh -huh. at that time, I didn't have a, a awareness about the importance of animals. I just thought they was like nasty. But you can really psych your mind to believe that you're not scared of something no more. Like, I used to be scared to go over, like, bridges with water under it. Mm -hmm. But it was only because I seen a movie that a plane came through the bridge and all the cars fell in. And I knew I couldn't swim. But if I was... But you know, that was a true story. It was a true story, but and you can also convince your mind that you're not really scared. Yeah. Because your um, mind don't know the difference. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, those That's one of my fears, too. too high. Yeah, my... Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I ain't gonna go to, you know, one real, real high. I wish I, I could find... Mouth. Yo, Maryland. Yeah, it's a real high one in Maryland, girl. Who I got out the hot car on the bridge, old knees. I wish I could find that video when I was making the intro, and my mom was so scared on that bridge, y'all. It ain't make no sense, and it wasn't even that far from the water or the ground. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. I don't know how them did that day gonna thing it in um in Dubai. Uh uh. Mm. A restaurant all the way up there in the um, sky. And it was going around and he was eating on it. Uh uh. Mom, that's luxury. Mm. Well they can have that luxury. That's the luxury I don't want. I lost our question. Mm. How'd you do that? I guess I gotta make a new list. Mm. Are you guys ready for Christmas? I'm not. It's another day to me. Me too. Ain't no Christmas went up. Nothing went up. A porn seller went up. Unique brought it from her job. My manager gave us that. Oh, okay. And then, um, I did some, um, presents for the the family. That's it. What's one TV show that I would watch every single day? Green Acres. <laughs> That was more so when I was a teenager. Well, yeah, I would watch that every day. But you don't watch no TV now. No, I, I don't. But if I wanted to watch a show, it would be something like Green Acres, Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, which is mm -hmm. also my dad's favorite show, which I didn't know about. Mm -hmm. Did you ever lose me in the supermarket or anywhere else? No, because you always hear <laughs> So my no, I, I, um, she was in Target, and she, she had um, got away from me and was in Target. That's and losing somebody. Yeah, and had all the little kids around her, and she was then got one of the books and um, Target's reading the book to them and telling them the story. Did I know the book? Did you know the book? Yeah. Nope. I knew how to read, but sometimes I just read them by memory. And people would be amazed that I would know exactly what it said. But I only knew what it said because she would read it to me all the time. And I just memorized it by heart. But at some point, I actually could read it. At what age did you not like experiencing with me the most? Teenager. <laughs> like how old, mommy? Like middle school teenager or high school teenager? I think it was middle, more middle school teenager because she was rebellious. <laughs> what was I doing, mom? Something you ain't supposed to be doing. Girl. And I found out more through the blog. Cause I ain't know. <laughs> I was having fun. Mm -hmm. Y'all yeah, always been a free spirit, but my mom is a homebody. So she didn't really understand. And I just didn't like sitting in the house. Now I like sitting in the house as a grown up, but as a teenager, that's not fun. <laughs> How long I was in David with you? Mm -hmm. Um, it started like well, it's the label started at um two, about two thirty. Oh, well, 2 no, that's eight hours. Uh, eight hours of labor, y'all. <laughs> it wasn't that bad because she was breached, but you could feel the pain. You know, it wasn't like her head was pressing, but um, it was her her feet. But um, the doctor took forever to get there because he knew that she was gonna be a C-section. Yeah, he ain't had the rush. Mm. And I be thinking she was gonna come and thinking I had to pee. Your daddy would come running with the bucket and I ain't had to pee. Your daddy was a trooper. He stayed there with me the whole time. You know he wasn't gonna miss a beat. Mm. He almost missed it. Did you have any family member that you wanted to keep me far away from? <laughs> <laughs> Who was the mom? Tell me in my ear. 
I ain't with you. <laughs> Who did you want to keep me far away from? <laughs> oh my gosh. That was my favorite, y'all. Still is to this day. He look like an old man now. Age didn't get to him. I knew she was going to say that, though. I didn't know. Because you just never liked them. What is your all-time favorite picture of me? I don't really have no favorite ones, but I like that one over there. I like all the pictures. But you don't have no all-time favorite? My all-time favorite of us together is two of them. It's one where I was standing up on the floor and my mom was on the couch like this. She was frowning and I was smiling. And then there's another one where she was sitting down, she was smiling, and then I was frowning. And you put them side by side and it's like we swap faces. It's so weird. Oh, when you was a little baby? Yeah. Oh, okay. I love those pictures. Mm -mm. Yeah, those would be my favorite. Mm -hmm. You about you about a year old then. Mm -hmm. I can remember. You need to took so many pictures, y'all. I don't mm -hmm. even like taking pictures now. Uh, oh, you know which one I really liked too when you were small? What? The one where you had on the um white um collar shirt and the little blue flowers in it. And you had the little short um you had the little With the interlock? Yeah, the little short interlock. And the baby mm -hmm. hair? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I Girl. Like that. that was real cute. I gotta get my pictures back down here, but I don't have nowhere to put them, y'all. Yeah, you ain't got nowhere Ooh. to put them things. Jesus. I think my granny got the cutest pictures at her house. Of you? Mm-hmm. Oh, for real? I sent all those to babe, because I won't uh, in denial. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some of my baby pictures is not nice. And I don't know no, where they Hey, mom. Yeah, that one won't nice. The one that had that gray shirt on and yes, that love I'm ponytail. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, my hair <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was not cute. What were my very first words? Your very first word? Mm hmm Daddy. Really? Yeah. That's whack. That's what all babies do. Daddy. Dad, 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 dad. Then what I say? Mama. In that order? Mm hmm That's whack. Mm -hmm. That ain't nothing special. Mm hmm Yeah, that's special. Your mom, your dad and your mama. Nah, I wanted to say something cool like Baba, cause food. <laughs> Child, we didn't teach her no bottles. Bob, Bob, we taught her. And when she was saying dad, dad, we said daddy, daddy, mama, mama. We didn't talk um, to you need for baby talk. That's because my dad don't like baby talk. Mm -mm. <laughs> and she said, I like broccoli. I like broccoli. And I don't broccoli. even like broccoli no more. It turned my More phone. broccoli, daddy. More broccoli. I don't like it. Oh, and uh, what's up, child? How old was I when I said, what's up, Charlotte? Girl, you probably about 13 months. <laughs> what's up, Charlotte? I was the only baby that was a baby when I came. Really. So. Everybody. Everybody loved her. And everybody helped me take care of her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So insane. All in all, are you happy with the way that I turned out? Yeah. <laughs> Change the way you turned out, so I mean, hey, okay, better with the sweet. But are you happy with the way that I turned out? Then shoot, I ain't gonna be sad about it. Shoot, <gasps> oh okay, my god, okay. what do you don't like about the way that I turned out? Mama? I ain't gonna tell you. Why don't you talk to people Cause about stuff like to my this? Y'all, my mama got issues, okay. <laughs> I would tell my mama the worst issues. part about her being a mom, I would tell her the, the thing that I'm not happy about. It don't matter. But mommy, you can't be keeping stuff like that from people. That's not right. Yes, you can. No, you cannot. That's between me and the Lord. All the moms comment down in the comment section down below. If you're not happy with the way that your kids turned out, would you tell them or would you keep it to yourself? We need to know. Because to me, if I was a mom and my kids was on some rah rah stuff, I'm going to tell them. Like, I don't like when you do X, Y, and Z. She be reneging. Ma, you know what reneging means? You renege, like you renege in a, a, a card game. Yes, face. Anyway, so thank y'all so much for watching this video with me and my mom. Any final words? Yeah, I want to do it over. <laughs> I know she lying. Not uh -huh. happening today. Come on, Nick. Do it over? Yeah. It's not going to be the same. Yes, it will be the same. It's not. Cause I'm not gonna be feeling it then.
Cause I did, I did it. This all I got to give. She said she ain't able, y'all. She ain't. I'm able. not gonna be able. I've been vlogging all day. Then my mom wanted to make a video. Then I had to set up, which took a lot out of me. I had to lift books back and forth. I had to take equipment from upstairs to downstairs. I've been shopping, honey. I'm tired. I know she lying. Now I gotta go in here and make some spaghetti, y'all. All right, see y'all guys. I will leave her link down in the description box below. Let her know that I sent you on over there. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if y'all haven't already. Thank y'all so much for watching Vlogmas Day 23. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. We are so close to Christmas, y'all. And we are so close to Vlogmas being over. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, and Santa Claus ain't coming to town. You know yeah. why he ain't coming in it? Why? Because who's the Santa Claus? You. And who else? Stanley. And who else? Me. Yeah, we the Santa Claus. <laughs> I don't know if daddy gonna participate. Girl, yeah, he gotta participate. I got him a gift. I gotta go get him some cards. <laughs> Cause he be trying to hold it down with that money. Girl. Mm. We gotta get him before we go to Florida. <laughs> Girl. Mm. Don't spend a dang on thing. That's how you keep your money. You don't spend your money, okay? Thank y'all so much for watching this video and I will see y'all tomorrow for another day of vlogmas. Bye, Journeys.